You want to have a God Squad in NHL 23, but you don't want to spend money on packs? Well, I'm here to help you. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here to show you guys how to play NHL 23 Hockey Ultimate Team without spending a dime on the game. Now, me, myself, I do spend money on the game. I'm a content creator. I like to spend money on the game for video sakes. Uh, my, my Monopoly Hut series, opening up packs is just fun. But I can see why people want to play this game without spending more money on the game. Uh, given that the game obviously isn't in the greatest state right now. Um, and you can see that with the community. So if you're new to NHL 23 um, and you want to learn how to play Hockey Ultimate Team without spending any money, you clicked on the right video. So right now we're in Hockey Ultimate Team and I'm just going to show you guys a couple of methods that are pretty good to get some free packs, free coins, all that good stuff. So first things first, we're going to head into the objectives. Uh, you can do your daily objectives, which gives you coins for completing them, your weekly objectives, obviously too. And then you got the Hut Spotlight um, objectives that are here for 50 days. So when you complete all these objectives, you get a thousand coins per, which is pretty good. So look in here, you get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5, 6, 7, 8,000 coins. And then once you finish them all, you get an 88 overall power up master item from this event, which will be one of these cards right here that you get to choose, I believe, which is the 88 Goudreau, 88 Nurse, uh, 88 Kel Keller, I think it is. Uh, 88 Byram and 88 Zegris. So you get a free 88 overall to your team, which is pretty good to start off the year. Not only that, we have the Hut Spotlight Power Up uh, Objectives too. Now these are going to take a while to do. Again, you have 50 days to do these as well. Complete 25 games, you get Hut Spotlight Collectibles. Now the good thing about this is, is if you pre-order the game, you got a free 84 overall player, which you need collectibles to upgrade them up to an 88. So you get two, you get six, 12, 17, collectibles in total which should be enough to upgrade one of them to an 88 or close to anyways uh, which is pretty good i don't know it's an easy way to get a free uh spotlight power up player and upgrade them without spending coins or money on the game now obviously you got your milestone objectives honestly they're not that great this year uh these are pretty good actually complete 100 you get a premium two gold players complete 125 10 000 coins 100,000 coins for completing four obje uh, 400 objectives. So altogether, you get around 450,000 coins for completing 1,250 objectives. Now, it takes a lot, but every time you hit a milestone, you get a free 10,000 coins after 100 objectives. So it's not bad. You get 10K coins there. Uh, Hot Rush, not the greatest, 2,500 coins. But you do get coins for completing these stuffs, uh, just completing objectives. Hot Rush, squad battles, uh, online games, goals in online games, shots. Uh, hits, sets, hot challenges, and opening up daily reward packs. These will give you a, a decent amount of coins. Obviously not as quick, but over time, it does give you a lot of coins. Another great way to start off hut or to do a free to play, uh, the X Factor challenges. If you guys do not know, if you complete all these objectives by the end of group four, you will get a free X Factor player choice pack, which can help you big time there. So uh, a good way to get a free X Factor player is by completing these hut uh, challenges in the X Factor challenges. You also got your daily challenges. I give you a decent amount of coins here for this one right here, 250, 275, and 300 coins for completing all three of the objectives here. Um, apparently if you do your dailies and you, you continue to do them, you get some big reward. They haven't announced it yet, but I've seen EA Hawk talk about it on Twitter. If you guys aren't following him, I'll leave a link in the description for him. He is one of the Hut devs, I believe. So he announces a lot of Hut stuff off of his Twitter account. And then again, just completing these objectives are an easy way to get coins, man. Um, you know, especially if they're on rookie, uh, just a very good way to get some coins and some packs. Now let's get in to the surefire way to get good packs and a decent amount of coins, depending on what you want to take. So if you guys don't know how squad battles works, uh, you can with your team play against the computer. So let's say I wanted to play against a 76 overall team. I can choose what difficulty I want. The higher the difficulty, the more points you will get. So if I wanted to play on superstar, I can get a potential 1700 points. After that, you can choose your period length, three minutes, four minutes, or two minutes. Now, the longer, the more points you get. So if you play four minute periods on Superstar, you can get a possible 2,275 points. Now with these points, you will get ranked. The more you play, I think you got 40 games a week. The more you play, the more points you get. So obviously let's say you just wanted to grind a little bit. 9,000 points is probably like a handful of games. 
you get some decent rewards here. They don't show what the packs are, but you get packs and coins. Now, let's say you really grinded and you got Elite 1, 53,000 points. You get a bunch of packs and 17,500 coins. Now, let's say you really grinded it and you got every single point you can get. Rank 1, amazing packs, 100,000 coins. Rank 2 to 10, 75,000 coins and packs. Rank 11 to 12, 50,000 coins and some packs. Rank 21 to 50, 50,000 coins and some packs. And rank 51 to 140,000 coins and some packs. So if you want to get some packs, you want to get some coins, a good way to do it throughout the week is to grind out some of your squad battle games. Now you can also challenge the team of the week, which will give you more points. As you can see on Superstar difficulty at four minutes, you can get 4,500, close to 4,600 possible points. So um, again, a great way to get uh, free packs, free coins, grinding squad battles every week. It's tedious, it does suck playing the AI, but man, uh, if you don't wanna spend any money on this game and get a God Squad, uh, this is one of the best ways to do it. Now, let's say you are ready to start playing some online games. I do suggest you guys start playing some Div Rival games. Uh, you get points whether you win or lose. You obviously get more points by uh, winning games, how many goals you score, having a shuttle, getting a certain amount of shots, same uh, as that goes into squad battles. I believe if it's the same as last year, you need to get 20 shots on goal for uh, for the most points, five goals, a shutout, and there's some other requirements as well to get maximum amount of points. Same rules apply in squad battles, same in Div Rivals. So the good thing about Rivals is the same thing here. You do get instant rewards here too. Win three games, win two games in a row, you get a premium pack and a base pack. Win three games, win two games in a row, champs points and a two players pack. Win five games, win three games in a row, it's a mini NHL players pack and seasonal rewards, which are also good, which we will get to as well. So same thing here, you got your rank rewards, you play games, you win games, you get points. If you finish an ultimate man, you can choose between, this is a tradable option of an ultimate pack, jump on NHL players pack. Reward two gives you untradable packs, but you get double the packs. And then reward three is coins, which is 80,000 coins. Diamond, same thing, just lower rewards. Uh, uh, honestly, too, depending on what division you are into, you will get better or worse rewards. Um, but yeah, a good way to get some free packs, maybe coins if you wanted to take the coin option, is playing some hut rivals throughout the week on top of doing your squad battles. Now, another good way is to make sure you do your daily objectives, like I said, and opening up your daily uh, reward packs. Why? You get these seasonal collectibles. And with these seasonal collectibles, you can trade them in for some pretty good rewards. So you see here, you trade in two, you get a mini pack. Uh, these are all repeatable, by the way, as well. If you trade in three, you get an 81 overall choice pack. Four is a base pack, 582 overall. But really what you want to save up for is maybe something like a mega pack for 25 or an 83 to 85 overall choice is 25 collectibles. Uh, 184 plus guaranteed overall player pick is 28 collectibles. Jumbo Elite Pack is 34. 85 overall choice pack, 35. Power up collectibles to upgrade your X Factors or power up icons is 36 collectibles. 185 plus guaranteed player pick, which is actually crazy, is 36 collectibles. X Factor player choice, if you wanted to get another X Factor player, is 50 collectibles. Uh, a seasonal collectible exclusive icon choice pack. You trade in 60 of these, you get either a uh, Rob Lake. Chris Chelios or Niedermeyer. And then for 80 collectibles, you get a power up icon choice pack. So a chance to get any icon that's in the game, Wayne Gretzky, Lemieux, Sundin, a bunch of those icons that are available. So make sure you're logging into HUD every day, getting your daily pack to get one of these collectibles, completing your daily objectives to get an extra collectible there as well. And there's one more method to help you get some coins as well. Now, another way to get some good packs, some good coins, some of those seasonal collectibles as well is doing Hut Rush. So if you play Hut Rush, you play against a computer or online, you get a certain amount of points for scoring goals, doing this, whatever. You also have objectives to complete here, as you can see. Win games, you get 150,000 points. Score snapshot goals, 220,000 points, etc., etc. And there's two different modes. So what you want to do is complete these objectives get the max amount of points you can get, and then you will get some of these rewards. So looking here, uh, we completed some tiers. I haven't been really grinding this, but 250,000 points is a mini pack, 500,000 is two seasonal collectibles, one gold player pack, two gold players pack, uh, 1,000 coins. Uh, we got a power up uh, collectible pack, players pack, premium one players pack, three seasonal collectibles. So this is a very good way to get some more free packs, some more free coins, um, free collectibles as well is just by grinding this against a computer or people online. Now, the good thing about this as well is some modes will have you create your own lineup with 
players that you have in your collection some you will draft as you can see Sakic, Pajot, the 88 Latang, and UC Saros you get to draft players that they give you so um I think those are the main ways to get uh, some free packs, some free coins, some free collectibles without spending a dime on this game. Is it a grind? 100%. It is a huge grind, but if you want to have um, an amazing God Squad team without spending a dime, this is the way to do it. So guys, if I left out anything else uh, that is good to get some free packs, some free coins, some free players, collectibles, let me know in the comment section below. I think I ran through majority of the best ways to do it. If I was able to help you get some good players, some good coins, a good God Squad team, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys need any advice, uh, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. Uh, I, I love responding to the comments and trying to help each and every one of you out. So uh, be sure to do that if you have any other questions. But guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. We are getting closer and closer each day. And uh, if you guys are a subscriber already, thank you guys very much. If you guys aren't, uh, maybe consider it. But guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!